How about that for an intro clip from Torpaz Carton, a super long range snipe, awesome to see, and Dr. Green Thumb is coming in with just a classic spray down on Battlefield 1. Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 1 Top Plays. In today's episode, we are going to be seeing a selection of epic Battlefield 1 content, both from console and from PC. This clip from Caleb, he's using the Hell Regal. I think this clip's from actually a couple of years ago by the looks of things, and he's blasting through the enemy players on Amion. I remember doing this sort of stuff, maybe not with so many kills, but it's just awesome. This is where Battlefield 1 was really at its best. A short and sweet streak from Dark Fear. In fact, it's just a triple collateral with the Obrez. You do love to see it. 1919 Blendy is next. This is going to be a sniping streak on Suez with some really accurate aiming. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments. It looks really, really good as he snaps onto enemy targets, getting himself a bunch of kills as they just line up in the desert. Anyone who plays a lot of the sniper class will know this is the best position to be in if you're looking to pick up a kill feed at the start of the match. Next up, it's Jewel OG, playing with a bunch of explosives and getting on a really nice flank on Fort DeVoe. He drops in the rifle grenade, gets in an incendiary nade as well, and then pushes through with his Fedorov, getting so many kills. Look at those points rack up, and it's really good for his team as well because they were in a choke point in front. He's gone around the side, flanked a little bit, getting so many kills on these enemy players. And yes, they actually capture that part of the objective as well and get the sector taken. Two clips sent in from Mr. Jass the Ace. The first is going to be in the cavalry class, trampling a few enemy players into the ground. I thought I'd include it because it's a nice bit of fun there. You always love to see it, especially if you're on the horse. If you're not, it's very frustrating. As you'll see right now, a random plane falls out of the sky. You do have to be aware on battlefield. Sometimes planes will just fall out of the sky and crush you. And I can't really say that about any other game I've played. The second clip, the perfect collateral on a moving target. Heck Me X is next. This is going to be Fort DeVoe. He's waiting in the corner here for enemies to push past him onto this objective in front of him. He's got some dynamite on the floor. Now he does take his time here and he only gets a couple of kills but then he does go on a big flank and it's one of those flanks and top plays where I thought he could just do a little bit more and get a couple more kills but it's still really really awesome taking out so many enemies in the process. Copper is next. We're going to be seeing an elite class streak. I usually don't include these because I do get sent in quite a few, especially with the trench raider. I'm not a massive fan of that stuff unless you can get a load of kills. And this one was probably in that category. Getting a ton of kills here, helping his team push around the corner, just braving a few of those grenades, taking a couple of hits, and then getting the flames fired through the smoke into the enemy players. Look at those hit markers. They don't stop for ages. A bunch of kills in this one. Alpha is next, controlling a section of Argon, getting behind some enemy players that are fairly clueless, especially that last guy, and the guy on the floor, who I didn't even notice, who just sat there watching his squad mates and teammates get completely destroyed. A nice aggressive streak in the assault class. Yeah! 
The second clip from Alpha is going to be on Argon. This time he's using the SMG-08, getting behind the enemy players. A massive streak to start out. How these players don't notice, I really don't know. You can see the minimap here. There's players absolutely everywhere. He's certainly not silenced. They would be hearing this. They'd be hearing their teammates scream. Medics would be seeing them die with the revive icons, but they don't do anything. And that is to the benefit of Alpha, as he gets himself so many kills. Man, Alpha, you're stealing my kills! A slightly longer clip from Thunder here as he gets back to back kill streaks using the Gewehr 98 on Amion. Starting out with a kill on that player there, a nice no scope through the window, smashing the window to pieces as he does so. I do like that feature in Battlefield 1. Pushing through some of the gas here, and then he gets to the jackpot round the corner. Loads of enemies just hoping here for a collateral, really, when you see so many lining up. He does get himself one there. A nice set of kills, as I said, back to back streaks in this clip. We have taken objective. Attack the new objective. Next up, we have a few clips sent in from Rice Farmer. I really like these sniping clips. A few of them have collaterals, kill feeds, that sort of thing. I'll let them all play in the background just without any commentary, pure sniping sound. We've got a seven man, an eight man, and then finally a really awesome nine man on Suez. Oh shit, how much how much damage does Annie's super do? Like that that bear. Thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like down below. If not, of course, you can let me know in the comments and maybe leave a dislike on the video. If you have any clips, make sure you send them in to battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com and I'll catch you in the next video.